What's up, sports fans? Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Um, so we're just going to kind of go in. You know, we got the NBA playoffs going on. We got the NHL playoffs. Key player on one of the hockey teams is out currently. Um, and we kind of going to maybe sprinkle on a little bit of the NFL. So, a little sprinkle. A little, a little sprinkle. There's not, there's not that much going on right now. The draft just ended. All right, we just have rookie camps going on right now. Rookie camps, and then... The Packers just had their photo shoot day. It's not really that big of a news. Photo shoot? Yes, everyone came in and did a photo shoot. Oh, that's cute. Every team does that. Yeah, I didn't know that that's kind of weird. I know, right? The oh, things you learn. Hey, Aaron Rodgers, though, a few weeks after being away from the living one, he got a new squeeze. Some, some lady from some Baywatch. Model. Yep. Another yep. Big watch model. Yep. And Olivia Munn was furious. Whatever. Uh -huh. I don't care. I really don't care. I could care According to a lot of people, she was the reason why he hadn't played well the past couple of years, so I guess they said she was controlling, but then I read another source article that said otherwise. I, I, I mean it just if you're an NFL star, don't get mixed up in Hollywood, plain and simple. Yeah. Pretty much. She was good enough as Christmas party. Yeah, movie. she was good in that. That was funny. That was a funny flick. It was. She was really good in X Men Two as Psylocke. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to purr. Anyways, that's Black Panther. That's a little less than a year out. That is Black Panther does not purr. He he's roars. a cat. He, purrs. he roars. He purrs. <laughs> Stop it. He's a cat. He, he roars and swings on the Wakandan vines. I'll walk is he out. a monkey? I'll walk out right now. How does the I'm panther gonna swing on Wakanda I'm gonna walk. vines? Let's get out. I that was a monkey. We're done. We're done. See All ya. right. Yeah. Now, as it should be, just <laughs> me. <laughs> and he's coming back. And he's coming back. And he's coming back. High knees, high knees. There you go. Can't believe he just said that. Yeah, just that we're all thinking. Uh, well, this is awkward. Please give us a topic. All right, NBA playoffs. <laughs> Got a couple of series to pay attention to. Well, sort of. Cavaliers, 3-0. Probably going to sweep. It, they should wrap it yeah, up. I should wrap that up. Uh, one, I guess, interesting aspect is the Spurs losing Tony Parker for the remainder of the playoffs. Yep. Which, I mean, if you look at it two ways, I mean, as you put, yeah, he was, he's part of that glue that's been there for all the, cha you know, the yeah, championships. He, he, was, he was the guy that ran the offense. He but, was the glue I mean, guy. How much was he really contributing offensively being at the age he was? I, I don't really think I don't know if he contributed as much. That's mainly Kawhi Leonard and Powell. Well, not really Powell, but Kawhi and well, Marcus Aldridge. But just I think his presence. Well, he gets on the I floor. Mean, let's say he can sell a presence on the bench. Right, but it's not the same. You know, he's been there a while. He starts. He knows how the offense runs for years and years. I mean, it just all depends on. How well you think Popovich can get him ready? I mean, you, can you can Popovich find someone else to replace Tony Park with the coaching that he does? Well, I think the last game, I think it was a rookie that started. I'm I'm shocked that he didn't. Just, I was assuming he would just have Patty Mills take over for Tony Parker since he's been there for quite a few years. Yeah, but I forgot the rookie's name, but. Nonetheless, I I think the Spurs should make it through, but you know they face the Warriors. It, it's kind of funny though. The Warriors have kind of dodged bullets. You notice that they've had. I know yeah. they play with who is before, them, but they haven't played teams in full tilt. Right in the postseason. Right. And it's nothing against them, but I've just no, noticed. Just, I just noticed that trend. Just dumb luck, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's weird to me, I guess, but. Whatever. Yes, I mean then, you know, kind of Celtics, you know, get away in this, in the series to inevitably play the Cavs, mm. which I think we all kind of saw coming. Yeah, shot. Which I mean should be a good series because the Celtics do have home court advantage there. Right, as the one I mean, seed. I don't really think the Cavs care. No, they really. They don't. play just as well on the road. Yeah. Mm. Yep, oh. they're 
they're kind of clicking on all cylinders right now. They are, yeah. They haven't lost yet in the playoffs. And LeBron James is playing out of his mind right now. But yet yeah, nobody really talks about that. If you hear everybody on media and ESPN, all they talk about is Golden State. Golden State's undefeated. Draymond Green. Well, that's because I think Charles that's... Charles Barkley. I think that's the team that everybody expects to win. You know, they have the big, the big four. You know, I mean, the Cavs, I mean, they have LeBron... Irving has just kind of been quiet. Haven't heard much, too much of oh, him. I, th- I think he's going to turn it up in the Eastern and Conference then, Finals. And then Love. I mean, they, they, the Cavs have some added weapons. They got Corver. They have Derek Williams. Deron Williams is playing really well right now. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, they got KD, but people that kind of really follow, they're forgetting – what all Golden State had they up to get KD? They gave up pretty much three post players, and if you're, you need some type of a post presence, because they the Warriors the games they've lost they've been out rebounded by a ton. Well, apparently they don't need that much of a post presence. If I mean they're kind of like penciled in already for the championship game. I guess mm-hmm. may as well call them Levar Ball. Don't even no. You're not gonna buy the sneakers. Four hundred ninety-five dollars for you can some, afford that, John. For some Come un, on, for some unproven two pair of sneakers, a thousand dollars. Come on, they're penciled in the Hall of Famers. How dare well, you? Well, apparently, yeah. How dare you? I don't, no Jordan has ever sold for oh. near that price. How dare he address Levar Ball's boys like that? I know. Bust, bust. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You know, they said you know. Bust. With, with LeVar is kind of making his son already into a villain. Like, nobody wants to see him succeed because everyone hates his dad and therefore hates him because of that by extension. And So I've heard from a very close source to me that if you watch Undisputed, Nelly's on first take sometimes. He yeah. said that he's heard from NBA players that are still playing that the players are ready for Lonzo. They're going to... They're going to get in him because of his yeah. dad. And we talked about that a few episodes before, that he's talking about this, but what is that going to create for Lonzo going into the pros? It's going to create a very uncomfortable environment for him. That's like what's he's going to have a target on his back every night. Oh, yeah. This and he's player. Gonna, I'm sure people are going to give him some, you know, trash talk him all the time about his dad. And, you know, if he misses a, you know, has a bad game, just look at him like, I thought those $40, $95 you're supposed to guarantee you a good game. <laughs> For that price, they should. Yep. I mean, the you know, I guess the whole sad thing about it is, is why people are talking about him so much. Like, you know, listening to Mike and Mike the other day during my workout is, they spent like forty-five minutes talking about these shoes. Mm-hmm. You know, like, how is yep. this a yep. new story, and why yep. do you, yeah. why do anybody care? I mean, I, I you, this, yeah, this guy's just basically doing this just for the publicity, and that's exactly what you're giving him is this. You know, publicity because he just creates a stupid price for these horrible sneakers. And you just sitting back just laughing because, yeah, he's getting all this attention. And he doesn't care what's going to do to his son, which, you know, I'm interested to see where he goes in the draft. Very interested. Okay, so we could make our own shoes, hear me out, and call them the J&J Sports Jabber 9000s. Huh? Extra arch support for yeah. the flat-footed people, huh? Some pumps in them too for and extra we'll jump. S- and we'll sell them for four fifty. Mmm. Make sure you guys check them out. We're uh, um, we're gonna give uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I got <laughs> no blooper. Thought that went nowhere. <laughs> <Blooper>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four feet. We'll price them out of a. We'll price them out of the market. Yeah. Sell for forty five uh, bucks less. But now, Levar. What now? And then they'll be in exclusive colors: the Black Panther with the shade of forty nine er red, or the Green Bay yellow and gray. And well, as Levar says, if you can't afford shoes, and you're not a big baller. Yep. Yeah. Who cares? Yep. I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense to me, but stupid. I'm not crazy, so. And like, so you're not gonna buy the shoes? God no. No. Why? Why not? 
Unless they guarantee me a spot in an NBA team, no. You, but you don't want them? Not even a little bit? Just they, they might have some great colors. What if they have Green Bay colors? No. I don't care, young people talk like, oh, this is creating a selective group, so all these you know, rich people are going are gonna to want it as a status symbol. No. Stupid it. shoes for a status symbol? Oh, okay. oh screw that. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just trying to sell the shoes. You know what they're stepping by for $495? You can buy a lot better stuff. Um, a TV? Maybe a trash can. Yes, maybe a trash can. A trash can, can right? <laughs> yeah, you can buy a trash can for $495. A bed, maybe. A very uh, cheap, no. Yeah, very cheap. Too low. <sighs> yeah, that'd be a pretty bad mattress. Um, a mop. Huh? You can't buy a mop. You could buy a my pillow by Mike Lindell. <laughs> you can buy some adjustable weight sets. Mm, okay. Okay. Now we're getting it. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, oh my God. checked out hockey playoffs lately? Uh, no. I saw that the Blackhawks choked a big one and yeah, went out got and, swept. Yeah, went out four, got, four yeah, games. So, got swept. uh, yeah, my uh, brother in law, Luke, sister Joanna, who likes the Blackhawks. Mm. Not the best performance they put up. Yeah, my Sharks lost too. Um, I think the main shock of the first one's got to be the Blackhawks. Oh, they're definitely. normally traditionally good, and they got swept. I mean, they have the experience. They've won three championships. Right. Same guys are there. Yeah, go in with the best record and then out right away. And it wasn't even – they didn't show up at all. No, they they were not – they didn't get off the bus or the, or the freezer. <laughs> See what I did there? Ah, <laughs> uh, LeVar. <laughs> Back to him. <laughs> can create some custom ice ice skates for hockey players, you know, 500 or 700 bucks, you know, because you had to add, you know, extra cost for the blue. We could call them the Blue Bunny Nutbusters. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's awesome, right? <laughs> what? But, you know, like, wait, the nut, the nutty bars. Okay, well, just, okay well, now when you say Blue Bunny Nut Busters, your mind goes something completely different. Oh, I was talking about the Nutty Bars, all those dirty minds out there. Sorry. I was literally talking about the ice cream Nutty Bars. Sure. Whatever. All right. Also, where are we at? Uh, you know. Sidney Crosby, concussion. He uh, might be out for the series with the Capitals. And I'm not sure if he's gonna make it back. I saw the hit. Kind of, kind of dirty. He kind of basically got hit by two different, three different guys in the same sequence. Um. So, to all the Penguin fans watching, yes, yeah, Sports Chat was talking about hockey. Mm. <laughs> Said we didn't have diversity. Feels unnatural. Yeah, no, it does a little bit. But um, I would say the Penguins might win this series. And if Crosby comes back, they will take the cup. I called they would win the cup last year, too. I had one idea. Apparently there's a hockey, professional oh, hockey team in the NHL hockey team about four hours away from us. I should get some Cheetos for this. The Wild? No, they're eight hours away. Oh, Winnipeg. Yes, the Winnipeg Jets. Got it. Okay. I'm thinking maybe you know, sometime next year during the season taking a trip, yeah. trip up there to go wow. see a game. And we, we have, could. I have password I have not used yet, so I might as well use it for something. So we could potentially watch it and commentate it like Sports Jabber. A hard check by Luke Lex Luthor. Well, we have to be careful on that because there are uh, guidelines to broadcasting an NHL game without permission. Mm, so we could fines. ask them permission, tell them we'll sell them the NHL Nutbuster Skates with a size near you. Size near you? Well, something like that. Or is it a city near you? City near you. A size near you. <laughs> We're just going to have one size. It's going to be near to what people use. I said a city. <laughs> you what? said size. Whatever. 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 This episode's gone off the rails completely. You're welcome. Oh, you. Oh, me. Okay. Sorry. I got, I got nothing after that. I mean, uh, I, got, I, got a, I, got, I, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Well, one uh, 
just one thing on a little bit more serious topic. Oh, okay. Is uh, this past week the mm-hmm. Orioles Red Sox? Orioles, mm-hmm. Orioles were in Fenway Park, and you know, after the I think it was the first game, Adam Jones, outfielder for the Orioles, saying about all the racial uh, slurs that have been th- were thrown at him during during the game, and other black players, mm-hmm. you know, came out and said, "Yeah, when you go to Fenway, you kind of expect it. It's kind mm-hmm. of." Unfortunately, how it goes, which is really unfortunate. I heard a little bit about that, yes. Yeah, and that kind of goes to a point of, you know, you know, fans at games just seem to think they can do whatever they want and say whatever they want. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, the racial taunts are terrible. And, you know, how many times last year after the NFL games did you see videos posted online of people fighting after the game mm-hmm. or during the game? Mm-hmm. And it's like... How did these fans just get like this sense of entitlement, saying that they can do, say, whatever they want in the stadium? I mean, the things that you know you hear, you know, play, current player and former players say that they heard thrown at them. You know, people said to them are terrible. Yeah, disgusting. Yeah, I mean, people have said you know their mom had died, and people would just shout mm-hmm. out you know mm-hmm. horrible things about mm-hmm. the person's mom, and mm-hmm. it's like what kind of people are going to these games and doing things like that? And then, yeah, I mean, and then, you know, with baseball, they're trying to, you know, get more, you know, black players in. They're trying to, you know, get, you know, more youth interest in baseball. But then when you're hearing that you're going to go to Fenway Park and hear these racial slurs thrown at you. Nobody's going to want to go there. Yeah. Yeah. No one's going to want to play. You know, I give, you know, Boston fans credit the next day when Adam Jones came up, the entire stadium gave him a standing ovation. You know, because, I mean, yeah, you do have those select few that kind of ruin it. Give him a bad picture for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, majority of the, you know, Good portion of the fans, you know, at the park are not, you know, doing that. Or is they're enjoying the game, they have these select idiots that are doing that and just kind of giving the entire fan base a bad reputation because of it. And kind of the next day, um, a fan, yeah, found a way doing the same thing. But luckily, the uh, the security found him, kicked him out, he was given a lifetime ban. So he's never allowed back oh, to say, good. well, yeah, that's what needs to happen when right. being an idiot like that. So right. Just, I just like I mean to me I don't get like where these fans like I said get the sense of entitlement from. Like, and why can't you just watch a game peacefully while there's like why does that have to be fighting, you know, after the game? I mean it just doesn't make any sense to me because I mean how are families gonna take their kids to the game? Well yeah, you know, what example are the are the parents or family setting for their kids that go at a young age? Like, oh it's okay to act like this. Yeah, I mean you say you know in the family park there was an, you know a small you know a black family sitting to this person yelling this stuff right. that and right. Jones a kiss, like what is he doing? Right. I mean it's you know, creates this terrible environment and then like I said the fighting, you know, that you see after games and during games, it's like you know, they, yeah, they try to. I mean, alcohol does play a big, por- you know, part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they try to, you know, stop the alcohol sales at a certain point, and then if they can kind of sense someone's getting too disruptive, they'll, you know, cut them off. But it's not really working, and I just kind of wonder, like, what can they do to kind of hold, you know, rein these fans in, and you know, make it a little, you know, make things a little bit better experience for the fans that go there, and right. even the players too. Right. Yeah, and I mean, unfortunately, it's not just in baseball, but it's in all sports. Yeah. Like, for instance, we went to the Minnesota game when they played the Niners a few years back when Alex Smith was quarterback. We will never go to another Minnesota game in Minnesota. It was awful. We had popcorn thrown at us. We had beer thrown on us. We even got heckled after and during the game. And that alone was just enough. We're like, right? No, we're done going to Minnesota games. And then this play there, we're never going. Yeah, and that's you know the you know contrast. Like, is you went to a football game had that experience. We went to a baseball game when the Cubs were in town a couple of years back. People there could not have been nicer to us. We were wearing mm-hmm. our Cubs gear, but you know, on the train ride there, you know, we we're talking to people. You know, twins. You know, they had twins gear on. I mean, they were very friendly, but. Yeah, then you go to a Vikings game, and then yeah, you just get this completely different crowd, and you know, much more hostile. Yeah, I, I don't care if Vikings fans are watching this. I think they have one of the worst fan bases that I've been to. And the, you know, the weird thing about that is, I mean, 
Vikings and 49ers have no rivalry. No. I, there's there's nothing no. there. And you expect, you know, there'd be, like, a lot of trash talking, like, if it's, you know, the Bears or Packers mm-hmm. or whatever, you know, going there. Okay, yeah, you kind of expect that. But like divisions. Like, yeah, but, like, the Niners? I mean, why are you giving the Niners We're fans We're literally a time? not in your division. Yeah. And you guys play once every couple of years. I mean, yeah. it's, yeah. yeah, not a huge, yeah. a huge deal. I mean, it's like if I go to the Pack and, you know, I see a, a Dolphins fan. You know, if just by chance we're playing Dolphins, I'm not going to give them a hard time. It's a Dolphins. Who cares? I mean, no, not that's a completely different conference, and you know, let alone you know my division. So I mean, yeah, it makes no sense to me. I mean, I don't under, quite understand it, but yeah, it left a very bad taste in our mouths. Still, and I'm sure you know every every fan base has those few idiots that right. kind of ruin it. And, I think it should crack down on it. They do, it's just a matter of how. Right. I mean, you have to have, you know, security to witness the events, and then, you know, if they do, you know, take the proper steps. I mean, they have, you know, those idiots that run on the field, you know, they get arrested. Mm-hmm. Like, the, you know, things that just happen in the stands, you know, you, right. you wonder how much actually, you know, goes on from from there. So, you know, what does security with all those people that fight? Do they give them a lifetime ban, or just kind of, you know, give them a warning and be like, hey, don't do it again, and it's just kind of sweep it under the rug? I don't know. No, but on the brighter side, as far as uh, baseball goes, uh, the Cubs, Cubs still doing good. Uh, I mean, they're in first in the division, but they do have some holes that they need to get filled. Oh boy. They have, you know, several players: Kyle Schwarber, Javi Baez. I mean, there's they haven't played oh, well Baez. yet. Baez is that the baby face guy? Looks like a baby in his face. You know, is that true? I think that was the guy that my wife was saying had the baby face. Oh, maybe. I don't, I don't think he does, but I don't know, maybe. I know, but you know, she's. Yeah, I won't say anything. I got in trouble the last episode, a few back when I said something about her. So you know. But uh, I mean, yeah, they're they're not playing. David started swinging the bat very well. The pitching has been, just to say, bad. I mean, really, no way around it. I mean, they've given up the most first inning runs in all of baseball. And really, yeah. And then you know, yesterday. Uh, they had they were one strike away from winning, and the Lever gives up a three run home run to Brett Gardner, and they lose the game. So I mean, their their starting pitching has been subpar. Their relievers, for the most part, have done a decent job because they have they've already come back. You know, when they've been down in the sixth inning, like six or seven times. So late on later on in the game, they'll get those runs and you know get sure. the win. But I mean, coming off of what you know how good they were last year, I mean they definitely did take a, a big step back. I know whenever I'm, because I have them as a favorite on my phone, and when I follow and I get alerts, they always seem to be losing. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, and they okay. do, like I said, I mean, they're still in first in the revision. Right. You know, it's just a matter of, you know, can they get these things kind of straightened out? Can they get their offense kind of gelling a little bit more? Favorite. Can their, yeah, can their pitching just kind of get back to what it should be? So, sure. you know, John Lester, Jake Arietta, Kyle Hendricks, John Lackey, none of them are pitching kind of as up to their capabilities right now. So you kind of hope, you know, it is still very early, so there's still plenty of yeah. time. So you just hope that they kind of round more into form as the season goes and, sure. you know, can lock it down a little bit better. Yeah, a couple other surprises. Uh, the New York Yankees, no one was, you know, they expected them to be a little bit better, but no one expected them to be as doing as well as they are. Yeah, I have been following that. I got a buddy that I went to high school with who's a big uh, Yankees fan. Shout out to Jake Heckle. Yeah, so, I mean, they're playing... Very well right now. Cubs are playing actually them as we speak. Okay. Um, so they're playing a lot better than people thought. Uh, Minnesota Twins, they're kind of you know they're above five hundred. They're wow. defeat you know defying expectations. Really, I mean, so who knew? <laughs> and then See how she goes, huh? Yeah, like I said, it's still very early. So I mean, right. who knows? You the know, cream will rise to the crop at some point. Yeah, I mean, there will be separation, you know, at some point. The you know, good teams will continue to play well, and the mediocre teams that are just off to a hot start will start to come back down to earth and will fall back. So, I don't. I need mean, to have maybe one or two teams that just stay hot the entire year that you never expected and make a run at the playoffs. But sure, sure, you know, as many as there are. I mean, the Blue Jays are playing terrible when they were kind of, you know, almost a consensus favorite to win that division, but they're, in, I think, still in last place. Sorry, Steve and Amel. Yeah, so they're, they're not looking good. They're talking about kind of doing a fire sale come if they don't turn things oh. around. 
So they got a lot of players that, you know, are coming towards in their contract that they might start shipping out if they don't, you know, start winning. So that's something to watch out for, you know, as the season goes, see okay. if they don't improve or not. Um, I mean, other than that, yeah, the Astros are doing some, pro- you know, everyone thought they'd be good, but I don't know if anyone expected them to be this good. Nationals are killing it. The Mets, I don't know what it is. They have terrible luck with pitchers. They just cannot get their pitching situation in order. You had Noah Syndergaard, who refused to take an MRI, went out and pitched, and now he may be lost for almost the entire season. Was that Tommy John? Uh, I'm not sure if they said Tommy John. Yeah, but I believe there's a torn ligament. So, I mean, last oh, report I heard, okay. he's going to be out like yeah, three yeah, yeah. months. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which maybe if he took the MRI... If, you know, the general manager or you know, Terry Collins, you know, the manager said, no, you're going to take the MRI. We're going to see if there's anything wrong. But no, he didn't. And then the manager sent him right back out there. And yeah, he left and he's out around three months. Ooh. That's it. And then, you know, you think of all the injuries they had last year with their pitching. And now their best pitcher, who had issues last year, too. He had a... Uh, bone fragments in his arm that needed to get removed, but he just pitched through the pain last year. Awesome. Well, so now he's he's out for three months, so they have to figure out a way to kind of stay afloat when the Nationals are just ripping through that division. And, I mean, another thing, the Mets, you know, they had Jonas Cespedes, who in batting practice just went down like a heap because of his hamstring. They still played him that night. Not enough hamstring curls, obviously. Mm-hmm. If he's if in batting practice, you see him just fall off the ground because he's hurt. You don't play him that same night. You sit him out, let him rest. But no, they just sent him out here, and hey, he got hurt. Shocking. Oh. 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 That, I mean, how stupid can you be with you know, your player's health? I'm just a little confused, Rod. I mean, John. Uh, um, well, as they, you know, taking that risk, <sighs> as I said, it's a bold move, Cotton. See if it pays off for him. And it Dang is. it. Beat me to the quote. <laughs> Crap. Thought of it first. That's okay. Everybody witnessed their first ever JAMA walk-off on air. It's true. First jabber. First ever walk-off. It's a special moment. Never happened. It was special. Need a moment I'm, of silence. I liked it. I'm, I said a moment of silence. No, it was fun. I liked it. Needs more of that. Don't tempt me. Just so it's just so it's then just me. Don't tempt. So I should, so next episode you're saying I should just sit on the steps and let you take over. Oh. I kind of want to do that now to see how it goes. <laughs> it would be amazing. Not you know not to toot my own horn, but a toot toot. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we're just gonna end it there. Oh, this show, I don't know what happened to this episode, but uh, it just went off the rails early and never recovered. So. I love it. A lot of bloopers. I think the fans are going to appreciate it. I think so. Well, like usual, subscribe on YouTube, like us on Facebook. Uh, yeah. Do, do. Uh, that's all we can.